What's up guys, Jonathan here, aka Mini Superheroes today. Well, I just got back from Atlanta BrickCon. Now I drove down from Nashville and man, it was a great time at the convention. I've heard a lot about Atlanta BrickCon the last couple years and this was my first time actually getting to go to the convention and I really had a good time. It's really growing very quickly. They're actually bringing it all over. Uh, it's gonna be in Nashville and Tampa, all kinds of places. This will be videos for another time, but let's go ahead and get started with how this weekend went down. I'm at Atlanta BrickCon in Atlanta, Georgia, but before we head there, Duck Bricks invited me to come to the Georgia Aquarium. So we're gonna head in, see what's up, and here he is now. Hey! All right, first adventure of the year coming up. Let's yes. get it. It's one of the biggest aquariums in the entire world, and it's really incredible to walk through all of the great exhibits and different fish and animals. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. I even got to see some penguins up close and their giant fish tank was like the size of a football field and had so much aquatic life in it. It was great, and if you're ever in Atlanta, I literally cannot recommend it enough. From there, Chris Bryan and I went down to Atlanta Brick Co. This is, of course, in Noonan, Georgia, about uh, maybe 30, 40, 50 minutes south of Atlanta itself, depending on traffic, of course, but it was really, really incredible. Absolutely loved it, and we got into a ton there the door and the thing that's gonna blow your mind is right around the corner so okay. we got to see your reaction Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh oh yeah what <laughs> Yo. we are immortalized at oh. Atlanta Brick Co <laughs> no that is amazing <laughs> So I've had my eyes on this Black Widow store display for ages. And I think today is finally gonna be the day I get to take it home. So we'll see, I gotta think about it. It's really expensive, but it would be awesome. Oh my gosh. The inventory here is just unmatched. You got rare parts, non-production parts, stuff that never actually came out in sets. Oh my gosh, that's insane. So this is where all the rarest minifigs are. So you got Cloud City Boba Fett, Miss Prince, Django Fett, more Cloud City Boba Fetts. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> all in one view. You gotta get that. I just don't know how I'm bringing it back. <laughs> I'll ship it. I'll ship it for you. <laughs> okay, so I, later this year, am submitting for the largest Lego Marvel collection in the world, and Chris is going to be the official representative on I sure camera. will. Uh, because <laughs> you have to prove that you have everything, and so this is just like a little sneak preview. We were just talking about it, and I'm like, you know what, we'll film it. So <laughs> imagine this was my collection. How it would go is I have to say, hey, my name is Jonathan. I'm submitting for the largest Lego collection. Chris is here to be the official Right, observer. official representative of Guinness here to double check and make sure that you've got every single one, or at least the most. Yes, and here's how it would go. This is set one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, seven. And you have to go through every single piece of your collection you have in Wait. one uncut video. Oh, no. I didn't know that before I said yes. Wait, 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 Yes, so no. I, I went through my collection the other day, and it's over 200 sealed sets that I have to, you know, show each one on camera individually. And so you could do the math if you spend like 10 seconds a piece on each, but that's not counting the store displays, poly bags, oh, no. Comic-Con figures and sets. I mean, so it's probably gonna be like a two or three hour continuous video. Sure. But now where the irony comes around is- Have fun. I asked Chris if he would do this for me and he said yes. And then I said, <laughs> if I could ever repay the favor, let me know. And Chris is gonna go for the biggest Lego collection ever. And what, you have like 9,000? We're at 9,000. Good luck, buddy. So, <laughs> so always check the terms and conditions before, folks. That's the moral of the story. And remember, it's gonna be fun. If you miscount, the video starts over. <laughs> oh. Well, good thing you'll be counting. <laughs> My offer is for one count through and one count through only. No, it'll be great. It's, oh. If this is the most difficult thing we have to complain about, we are very, very fortunate. Yes. Blessed. But yeah, we oh. were standing here talking about it, and I'm like, you know what? That was a good time. So stay tuned for that later this year. It's going to be a wild one. <laughs>
I've been looking for this. What is it? Wait, what? It is the leg the official Lego Ninjago <laughs> movie fidget spinner. That is so it's only cool. $10? Look, they have a whole thing of them. What? There's no. a whole thing. <laughs> That's amazing. These are exclusive printed tiles what? of the Ninjago movie characters. Oh my gosh. Wait, and this for is 10 bucks? Dude, I'm pretty sure this isn't like on brick. Like I was looking for it on Bricklink and I couldn't find it. Dude, there's just a whole thing of them. No way. Wait, what else oh do they have? Oh my god. That's amazing. Oh my god. What is that? Oh, I have this. I have this. That is, uh, it's like a headband and like a puzzle circle thing you can Whoa. make for your spinner arena. What's this? This it. What is this? That looks yeah, like a, uh, like an armband. An arm like or headband, because it's like a headband. Yeah. I'll get it. I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> it's five bucks. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm always looking for weird Ninjago. I do have the pencils. Dang. <laughs> And I did. I think I saw everything. Did. But yeah, no, we had to go outside. We didn't go down these. Yeah, so we went outside. We opened this up yeah. because we were tired of walking out. So yeah. you can see a lot of random movie props hanging up because Chris is trying to find spots. Wow. And we got some really classic Lego stuff. Oh my gosh. Off cars and like the gas pumps and the trees. That's all Lego. No Whoa. stud connections, but it's all Lego. Looking to buy actually three copies of this. So we're in the basement and just look at this and how many, many things. <laughs> So many Spider-Mans. They've got everybody. Every version of Thor. Just stacks and stacks of them. Loki and Sylvie. Look at all these Venom and Carnages. Oh my god. It's absolutely insane. Then of course we got a big bucket of Hulks. <laughs> There's a sentence I never thought I would say. Alright, we've had a lot of fun at Atlanta Brick Co, but now it's time to get to Atlanta Brick Con. Say that ten times fast. Anyways, I did get this Black Widow store display. This is from 2014, but actually probably would have been in the store around 2015. Um, but yeah, super, super cool. Pretty basic on the back. But if you guys remember, a couple years ago, I got Spider-Man and Aquaman, and this would have been exclusive to the Lego store. These all had to be destroyed back in the day, but this one survived. It's literally probably the only one in the world, and now it's headed back to my collection. But not before Atlanta BrickCon, so let's see what we find there, and get to it. Now from there, I headed over to the convention just in time to get there for the yard sale. Now if you guys have seen past LEGO Con vlogs, the yard sale is where anybody can bring stuff to sell, and you never know what's going to show up. Gotta tell you, the yard sale at this convention was a little bit underwhelming. Not really too much crazy stuff to be found. Decent prices, but not really anything that I needed in particular. I did find some decent minifigs and sets, and I did pick up several of those, and you'll see those at the haul part of this video at the very end. So with these conventions, a lot of times you group up and put stuff together, so a lot of content creators are here, and I went ahead and brought my Indiana Jones mock. We'll take a look at it closer a little later, but definitely cool to get it set up and ready to go. Now, Saturday morning rolled around very quickly, and it was time to head into the convention. Saturday and Sunday of all LEGO conventions are what's called public days. And during public days, anybody can buy a ticket and come in. Generally, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, or in this case, just Thursday and Friday, are for exhibitors, aka people that have set up their mocks ahead of time so that they could be displayed for the public to come in and view. Now, Saturday was super packed. There were so many people there. It was so busy, and it was really cool to meet many of you guys. A lot of autographs were signed, pictures were taken, selfies were given, and many superheroes today bricks were given out. If you ever see me at a convention, I'm always happy to stop for a photo, answer questions, give you a mini superheroes today brick, or sign an autograph. Always happy for that. Now, Saturday afternoon, I headed over to the Influ Influencer panel. I was on a panel with some really, really great cats, some of my favorite people in the LEGO community. Of course, there's a lot of them, but it was a real honor to be asked to be on this, where we got to answer all of your guys' questions about what it's like to create LEGO content. Now, as Saturday rolled on, there was a lot going on at the convention. It was really fun to see all of the great mocks, and I really had a great time chatting with you guys, seeing all my LEGO content creator friends, and of course, shopping at the vendors.
Saturday night, they had a giant dinner for the exhibitors as well as a Lego trivia night as well as giving out the awards. After that, it was time for Night of Lights where they turn all the lights off in the convention center and then all of the mocks that have lights are turned on and you can see them for all of their nightlife beauty. That's a really, really fun thing. And of course, the sights are amazing. Now on Sunday, I switched things up. I actually spent the morning at Atlanta Comic Con. This is in downtown Atlanta, and let me walk you through that now. Hey everybody, it is Sunday morning, and I'm at Atlanta Comic Con. Yes, not the Lego convention, but another Comic Con about 30 minutes away. Uh, I was super excited to get media passes to get in, and I gotta check it out now and get my Comic Con on, so let's do it. So here at Atlanta Comic Con, they have actual movie car replicas and they've got a Lego Batman costume, costume so you know what has to happen. At Atlanta Comic Con, I also got to meet Michael Rooker, who played Yondu in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and I got him to sign this Lego set that Yondu appeared in. Then I headed over to see my old buddy Sala from Indiana Jones, aka Gimli from Lord of the Rings, aka the incomparable John Rhys Davies. He had a special message to send to the Lego Indiana Jones set designers, so let me roll that for you now. I have just seen some extraordinary Sala and Lego. Uh, combined together. We need more. Somehow the best digger in Cairo is being neglected. I hate to say this. I could drive a taxi for instance. Not that I'm very keen on driving taxis. But I could be hauling out arcs of the covenant and 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 what else I could I could find cups. You no, know, holy grails, real ones having us wait here on. Think about this. There's a great future for you. Manufacturing Lego sellers. Also, my buddy Evo the Brickbuster made him a really cool custom minifigure of Last Crusade Sala, and John had a little something to say about that as well. For you, this is handmade, hand painted, and I know how much you want the Last Crusade Sala, but you've got one now. That's 100% custom, handmade for you by a young man named Evo. Oh, he wrote you a little note there, so. That's wonderful. Should I send him a little. A little picture there. Do you think he would like? That'd be it? great. He'd love that. What's his name? Evo. Evo. I Evo. Yeah, they are wonderful. That's amazing. All right, so it was a fun-filled day at Comic Con. But that's all she wrote. Now it's time to get back to the Lego convention, wrap things up, and call it a weekend. So 
But let's get back. I've got one more surprise for you. So after that, I ended up heading back over to Atlanta BrickCon to wind up the day. All right, folks, the big surprise is I've come to the convention as Rex Danger Vest. You'll love to see it. Prophecy fulfilled. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun before the convention ends, and let's get into it. we are done here at Atlanta Brick Con. It was super fun. I had a wonderful time and we're gonna get home, check out the hall. Hey guys, we're gonna get home, check out the hall and recap the whole event. So let's get to it. Well, I'm gonna start the hall video downstairs because I did get that giant black widow. It's pretty much impossible to give you a full view of it in camera, but I think it's gonna live in the hallway here because as we go into my Lego room, there's really not any space to put Black Widow. Of course, I've got Spider-Man over there, which is quite cool. And I do have Aquaman in the bathroom. You know, he's pretty good with water, so I figured he should uh, <laughs> be over there. But yeah, there's really nowhere to put Black Widow in the Lego room. So the next best place I can think of is out here in the hallway until I get a bigger house or museum or something. <laughs> All right, now we're in for the real haul, and I'm gonna start with the weird stuff and work my way toward the minifigures and sets. So this is a Lego Batman movie plastic table cover. Um, you guys know I mentioned it already that I'm going for the most complete Lego Marvel collection, but after that, I've gotta go for the DC collection, and I need every weird thing that's ever been made. And for the Lego Batman movie, there's a lot. We've got these Lego Batman masks. These are actually pretty cool, to be honest. Um, what do we have here? Some some kind of 12 piece value pack with all these swirl decorations that hang from the ceiling three bucks at atlanta brick co now this is a lego club magazine i've never seen before it says school edition so i really don't know where this is but as far as i know this was never documented online look how weird that is iron man without the faceplate on black widow is sleeveless so i'll do a video just on this magazine at some point in the future i picked up this civil war magazine from 2016 i did already have this but atlanta brick co basically offered me all of these at once and i couldn't say no there was also a age of ultron one here and this is good because it's actually nicer than the one i already have so i can upgrade a little bit at Atlanta Brickco, I picked up the Quantum Realm Explorer set sealed. Now, I did have this, but I did a giveaway with it a while back, and uh, I needed another one for the sealed collection. And then, of course, from Comic-Con, you'll remember that I got this one autographed by Michael Rooker, and he wrote Yondu. It didn't occur to me until after. I should have had him write, I'm Mary Poppins, y'all, but, well, that's the way it goes. So, still really cool to have and add to the collection, but I really, really, really should have had him get that quote, too. Maybe he'll add it someday. All right, now let's go ahead and get back to the mini things. Also, guys, coming at you real quick, my friend Brody and I designed a Lego Kiss set, and we need your help to get it made. If you head to the link down below, you can head to Lego Ideas and support the set. If we get 10,000 signatures, we can turn this into a real set that hopefully we can all go to the store and buy. So shout it out loud. You got nothing to lose, and sign up down below. It takes 30 seconds, and it'd be a big help. Thanks so much. All right, so now we're to the minifig part of the haul. So I'll start with the stuff you can't see on camera just yet. If you remember at Atlanta Brick Co., Duck Bricks and I found these really cool Ninjago movie fidget spinners, and I really just had to have them. They were 10 bucks a piece. I don't know if I overpaid or not, but I want to open one, and I guess I'll keep the other one sealed. So these are very cool and definitely exciting things to add to the collection. Just about everything else I bought came from the yard sale, if you can believe it. I picked up this Lego Batman movie accessory pack. You know, of course, I need this one sealed. It looks like it's coming off the bubble a little bit, but super duper easy to uh, add into the collection. I'm pretty sure I didn't have it sealed, so I think I paid like 15 bucks for it, which is basically what it retailed for. Not so bad. Now, over here, I've got two new models from Bricker Builds. We've got the Amazing Web Shooter and the Insomniac Web Shooter. Bricker Builds makes some awesome custom Lego sets, but if you check it out, Look who the designer is, Jetty So. You guys remember Jetty from way back in the day. He used to intern for me. He's been in vlogs, he's filmed videos, and uh, he's worked his way up in the world, and now he designs sets and does videos with Bricker Builds. So I'm really happy to see my uh, little brother in Lego over here doing awesome work. So I can't wait to review these, and congrats to Jetty for that. We did have the minifig swap that happened just before the yard sale. Uh, I got this Triceratops 
girl from the new CMF. Basically, I traded this to somebody who did like the paperclip challenge where they took what I gave them and traded all the way up to, uh, I think, Commander Cody. So they did pretty good going from a Triceratops girl to Commander Cody. After the minifig swap, I swapped a bunch of just random CMFs with somebody who wanted them, and I got these uh, Kashyyyk Star Wars figure, so we got two battle droids and this very cool Kashyyyk Scout Trooper, and somebody else traded me a bunch of my random minifigs, and I got a Toby Spider-Man out of it, so that was definitely a really good trade, and honestly, probably my best pickup of the entire weekend. At the yard sale, I picked up this sealed Iron Man versus Ultron set from 2015 for 30 bucks. Can you believe that? This is such a great deal with all three Ultron drones and Age of Ultron Iron Man sealed. You gotta be kidding me. $30 is a great price. Honestly, maybe an even better price, if you can believe it. Every single minifig on this plate, including the plate itself, was $25. As the yard sale was wrapping up, I was talking to the guy who was selling it, and I made a joke about me looking like Rex Danger Vest. And, uh, you know, I asked how much he'd want for it, and then we started talking about how much the entire plate would be. And long story short, he ended up taking $25 for everything you see here. So he threw out that price, and I'm like, yeah, I will buy that for $25 for sure. Then finally, another fan and follower of the channel had a really great uh, yard sale setup, and I got all of these minifigs for 60 bucks. So, Sam Wilson, Captain America, Ned from the accessory pack, Korg from the accessory pack, MJ, eight, uh, let's see, that's Age of Ultron, Iron Man, M'Baku, and yeah, basically I won't go through every single one, but definitely a really good pickup for 60 bucks. And with that, it's going to conclude the video. So, I've got a lot of video to still edit, showing off some mocks up close. That'll be on Instagram and TikTok in the coming days. So thanks to everybody that said hello at the convention. It was so great to meet you all. It was so great to hang out with all my friends. I had a wonderful time, and I'm looking forward to next year. So let me know what you guys thought. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.